Good afternoon, everyone. I'm excited to announce that today we're going to go cut grass. That way we can go pick all the grass up and take it to feed the cattle and hopefully per, uh, increase their productivity. So, let me just hop on over there and we'll get started. Alright, so I made it all the way over here and I took the liberty of already going around and doing one perimeter pass just to make sure everything was going to be on the up and up. Well, good news, everything is on the up and up. So, I'm going to be using the Dutes tractor here and we're going to do basically the entire field 18. And then after we get done, we're going to rake it up to make it easier. And then we are going to pick it up with the Euroboss 330T, which I just so happened to have bought last episode while I was kind of off camera. And just kind of getting everyone caught up um, field 6 1 45 36 34 33 30 and field 11 all got planted uh, field number 8 is really hilly so I'm contemplating working it all up and then planting grass on it. So that's still a thing to be decided later on. But without any further ado, let's get this thing started up. Wow, this looks great. Now this is a very large field, so it is going to take me a while doing it this way, but this is the more realistic version for uh, just kind of starting out. I did contemplate getting the classic side mower, and I kind of decided against it just because uh, this one is more modern in regards to around my home farmers use this type of mower so just kinda wanted to remind myself of being back home so hopefully I'll be able to see farmers uh, in the field and maybe get some more uh, real world videos for you to sneak in my videos here to show show off some of the equipment and what they get done and uh, if you just happened to notice the tractor driving by, I actually downloaded another mod. And, oh my goodness, the name of the mod is not coming to me, and I apologize for that. Huh, this is going to bother me now. Oh well, but it's basically been helping me out so much because of it just being me and how large some of these places are it's just really tedious work all right so now that we're getting back to the beginning here we raise this guy up let's just continue this on around and figure out how well it works Alright, well, I finally figured out what the name of the mod was. I actually had to get off and look to see what it was. Uh, it's actually called Course Play. And I've seen other YouTubers use it, and it looked to be very handy, so I decided to give it a try. And I do have to say, it was very hard to get 
used to at first just because I wasn't familiar with it and I didn't read the manual that came with it. Yes, there is actually a manual that comes with it to help you figure out what on earth you are doing and how to use it. So, right now, uh, field number 15 is being worked by the combine and by the red tractor. The red tractor is actually going out into the field and unloading the combine and just kind of driving around following it around until the wagon gets full. And then after it gets full, it's getting taken all the way back to the farm and then put into storage for later use. So, so far it's been really handy. Uh, it is not the greatest with turns for planting and harvesting and also groundwork that I've come across, but that could also be just because of the equipment that I'm using. So, time will tell if it'll get better or not, but so far I've, I'm in love with it. Well, doing all this grass work really got me thinking about uh, a video I saw not too long ago. It was actually shot a year ago, but I didn't come across it on YouTube until just a little while ago. But uh, there was actually a video series out there, and actually a U fellow YouTuber, that puts up real-life farming videos and how-tos. And I reached out to him the other day to find out if he would allow me to share some of the links on my videos here so you can get a, get a feel for how the real thing actually works. And he said that I'm more than welcome to use his video clips and uh, attach links to his videos in mine to help you guys just see how things are done in real life. And there's actually a really good grass video that he did that I'll be sharing with you guys. And actually, if you click on the little thing that just popped up right above the mower, it'll actually take you to that link. It'll open it up another window so you can keep watching this and listening to my wonderful voice, which could be a lot better since I'm kind of suffering from a bit of a cold, but I think you guys will really enjoy watching Ryan and his videos. He's he's a really nice guy, so I just wanted to say thank you to Ryan for allowing me to use his stuff. I hope that we can do things in the future together. So, enough of me talking, let's just get back to work and this field's still really big, but I have a feeling the cows are going to be really happy because they're going to be fully fed, and I'm going to make quite a bit of money off of selling this. So, this is well worth it. Now, I'm not sure how much I'm going to make off of all this grass, but I'm going to make some money off of it for quick, uh, ready-to-use money, and then the rest of it I'm going to put into the ground, ground pads so I can start fermenting it and making it into silage for selling, selling later on to make lots of money off of that profit but also to help make mixed rations for the cattle because I know those guys get really hungry just like I do so I guess I'm going to leave it up to you guys what do you think I should invest in? should I invest in a combine with a bigger head? or should I buy another tractor? Or should I buy something completely different? 
Should I invest in cows and try to maneuver everything around the purchasing and investment of my cattle farm? If so, I'm going to need a baler and a whole bunch of other things. So, please, in the comments below, feel free to write down what you think I should do. And believe me, I'm totally open to suggestions because after a while, it just it's all about me, 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 me. But in actuality, it's all about you guys just listening to me. So, let me know down below. Alright, so the entire field has been mowed. Alright, so now that I got it all folded up, let's head on back to the farm and go get the rake. I'll see you on over there. Alright, so now that we got the wind rake all picked up, let's take it on over to the field number 18 and get it all taken care of. And uh, Mr. Euro Boss, I'm going to use you quite a bit. Alright, so here we are. Alright, so I'm just going to basically do the same exact thing that I did when I mowed. I'm just going to slowly work my way in towards the center, and then I'll hop in and out, showing you little clips of me working, and, ooh, am I going to be able to get four rows? Oh, this might go a lot quicker than I anticipated. Alright, everyone, so I just got an offer from New Holland informing me that New Holland equipment will be 20-ish percent off. So, should I take the loan back out for the max capacity to get, I think, a $200,000 loan and then start selling a whole bunch of my grain and invest in the New Holland Combine and some New Holland equipment? Or should I only invest in some tractors and the bailing equipment so I'm gonna leave this decision up to you should I utilize this or should I just let it go to the wayside so, I'm excited to find out what you guys think so if you want me to do it hit the like button and if you don't want me to do it hit the dislike button which sounds kinda weird but It'll be a good way for me to tell if you want me to go New Holland or what. And for the specific decision in regards to what one to do, as in purchase tractors or purchase combine, uh, leave a comment and let me know. And I will get back to you as soon as I can and hopefully get the next video out with uh, either some new equipment or a lot of money under my belt. And with that being said, we're getting pretty close to being done with raking everything up here. So I'm, I'm very pleased with how well this is going. So I'll pop back in and check on you guys here in a moment. And hopefully by then I'll have this entire field raked. Alright, so here we are. Got pretty well lined up, so let's start this start this out and see how well it goes. Well that's embarrassing. Don't you just love it when you hit the wrong button? pretty fast too. So this shouldn't take too long. <sighs> Alright.
right, so basically this is going to take me a long time for how small my wagon is and how big of a field I just worked on. So it happens, it's the life of a farmer. But uh, I decided to cut back in now while in transit to kind of explain to you what I'm going to be doing here. So, I'm going to go feed the cows, which at this point in time I believe I only have three. Uh, and I'll eventually get more, but for right now I'm just starting out and being real, real cautious with what I do and how I spend my money. But, I'm going to feed the cows, and then I'm going to... Uh, sell five or six wagon loads of this stuff and then the rest of it I'm going to put in the flat to make silage which if I do that I need to have an inloader of sorts so that will this is the watering hole where's the food? here it is Alright, that's much better. I apologize for that. That was a major goof on my part. Just completely lost track of where I actually had to go. So, I'm gonna feed the cows fully and then just try to make money as best as I can. So, you know what I'm doing for the rest of this episode. I will cut back with how much I made off of so so you know what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of this episode. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, Please make sure you let me know what I should do, if I should take part of the sale for all the New Holland equipment, or if I should just leave it be. But if I do start getting involved in taking care of cattle, I'm going to need a, a front loader of sorts. So uh, one good way to do that is to purchase a New Holland tractor and do it that way. Um, to save you guys the time, I'm going to do it all off camera, but... To explain, I'm going to use the flats here to make the silage, and then where I unloaded all my bales to make money, that's where I'm going to be taking all the extra grass that I don't use. So, this is going to take me a while, and hopefully you guys will tune in next time, and hopefully we'll be investing in more cattle. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.